One of the most common question I have got from my funnel building community is that Muz, how do you create funnels? Hey guys, my name is Muz and I'm a sales funnel practitioner. And in this video, I'm going to show you my own process of creating sales funnels completely from scratch. And don't forget to smash the like button. Smash that like button because I need all the like buttons right now. Literally smash the like button, please. Hit that like button. Smash the like button. So from the ideation phase until the funnel is delivered, there are eight steps that I take in order to build a funnel from scratch. Step number one, research and strategy. Whenever I complete a call from a client and once they are onboarded, the first thing that I do is go ahead and see what's already working in the market. Now, understand that you do not have to reinvent the wheel, you just have to model it. So when you are just using what's already working, then you know that it's going to work, right? So one tool that I'm going to give you that is going to be helping you a lot in the research phase is Clickbanks. So you just need to go to the marketplace in Clickbanks and you can just search the niche and all the funnels that are already working in, the, in that niche are going to show up. Now all you need to do is just model that, right? Yeah, the second part is strategy. Now strategy basically means just putting out a small layout of how the funnel will be looking rather than just going out and drawing everything. You just have to put the layout out. So let's say you're, uh, you want to build a lead generation funnel for your client. So instead of just doing an opt-in and a thank you page, you can even have a product launch funnel that will be working as a lead generation funnel. So you have to do the research and figure out what's already working to generate the leads, right? So that's the strategy. Step number two, creating a rough layout either in a piece of paper or your iPad. Now, what this means is we will be creating the entire structure of the funnel step by step on of each page inside of a copy. So this includes the whole imagery, how the images would be looking like, how the sections will be divided, what will be the copy that will be written. Yes, this includes writing the copy along with the layout as well. I know uh, there are several other creators who, uh, who create or write the copy after they have structured the funnel. But what I usually do is like this also saves a lot of time for me when I'm designing the funnel. Uh, or creating a rough layout at the same time I'm writing the headlines even if I do not write the copy uh, or the entire paragraph I just write the headlines and key points so this helps me in the designing process to just copy and paste the stuff that I just laid out right coming to step number three creating funnel assets now funnel assets are basically the logos the gradients or um, the arrows that we will be using the backgrounds that we will be using that will be common in the entire funnel page is going to be the assets of the funnel creating all of these before helps us in the designing process because now we know what are the backgrounds that we need to use what are the arrows that we need to use for all the points within the funnel and what are the what is the gradient that we need to just copy and paste inside of all the buttons um, the backgrounds and so on and so forth right every funnel has to have a unique logo so let's say you are having a program which then you have to create a unique logo for each program that you are organizing. It need not be fancy, but it can be simply just writing the text uh, or the name of the uh, of the challenge or, or the course that you are giving away. So having all of these assets, structure all of it before you go ahead and do the design in the next step. Step number four is to go ahead and do the design in an online tool. Now, um, I wouldn't ever suggest you to go ahead and do it inside of Photoshop, but there's an online tool that will help you save a lot of time and energy. It's known as Figma. Figma is an online tool which allows you to create prototypes for applications, websites, funnels, and so on. You can just see how the funnel is going to look before even making it live. Right? So um, I have made all of my funnels inside of Figma and here are some examples that you can see for yourself uh, for all the funnels that I made inside of Figma. So once you have got all the assets ready, now you have to copy in the layout. All you need to do is design it within the Figma. And once you design it, now we'll be jumping on to the next step. Now coming to step number five, which is going ahead and designing all of this inside of a funnel builder. Now that you know how the funnel is going to look like live in the prototype that you designed in Figma, now we'll be choosing a funnel builder software and we will just put everything together. Now all you have to do is just go ahead and take the elements out of Figma and put it inside of the funnel builder. If you want to know that how to do that, go ahead and watch this video. I already made a 15 minute long video to show you how you can take the elements from Figma and put it inside of a funnel builder. Now which funnel builder should you be using for this entire stuff? Now I'm very biased towards click funnels, but uh, along with click funnels, you can also use group funnels, which is a very good tool for free, a very good free tool that you can use to create funnels or even practice funnels if you are a complete beginner. You do not need to put out credit card uh, information or put any credit card information to get access to group funnels. I will put the link down below so that you can access group funnels forever. It's free for life. So you, you can just go ahead and click the link below. You can get it for free. So go ahead and test it out. Now coming to step number six, which is adding products. 
now i know it's not a really it's not really a, a complete different step but it's basically within the funnel builder now it's very important to put the products in the right way just because uh, the one click upsells need to be structured in a way that it's seamless right sometimes what i have faced myself is that i completely messed up the product addition and what happened was i ended up selling another product rather than uh, putting a different one which was the right one right so you have to make sure that the, when you are adding products either inside of group funnels or click funnels the payment gateway adding payment gateways and then putting it out uh, and linking it with the main funnel is very important to so make sure you are adding products in the right way if you want to know how to add products inside of group funnels go ahead and watch this video now coming to step number 7 which is testing out the funnel this is the most important step because if you if the funnel is not working in the test mode it won't work in the live mode right there's a very simple way to just go ahead and put a product uh, in the test mode if you want to know how just go ahead and watch this video it will show you exactly how to do it inside of group funnels now make sure that before you make it live you have to test it no matter what just uh, even in the test mode also in the live mode right so go ahead and test it in both modes uh, by putting a test card and then going it and doing it in the live funnel by just putting out the real card tell your friends who are in abroad just go ahead and tell them that please buy this product and see if you are going through all the steps in the uh, in a seamless manner because once you complete the test phase you can just go ahead and make the funnel live and start advertising and bringing more traffic to this funnel right So now coming to the last step which is making the funnel live and split testing the funnel. Now just understand the fact that not all of the clients that you will be getting in funnel building are going to go ahead and market the funnel because they are not motivated enough. Like in my career of making funnels, like almost all of them didn't go ahead and market the funnel because not a lot of money is at stake. That's the reason you should be charging high for building funnels. Just because when a lot of money is at stake, they are gonna go ahead and market the funnel because they have invested a lot of money. But but if you are charging around five hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, or fifteen hundred dollars to make a funnel, they are not gonna go ahead and market the funnel just because there's not a lot of money that's on stake, right? So what is split testing? Split testing basically means going ahead and having the same funnel but different headlines or different videos. Just going ahead and testing out different headlines, the copy or the offer gives you an idea of what works for the audience that you have built the products for. So going out and testing this stuff allows you to get an idea of what the market wants. and what's working in the market so there there was this one funnel that uh, one of my mentors made and what they did was they just changed one headline and the opt in rates increased by 30 to 40% which was insane right by just changing one headline this is known as split testing so this is the last step once you have split tested once you find one funnel that's working then you can just scale the traffic to that particular funnel and you can start making more and more money so that will be all for today i hope you enjoyed if you did then please make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to not miss out any future videos on funnels now please make sure to subscribe and also turn on the no post notifications because my study sessions are coming up real soon I know I have been saying it for a while but um I have been just waiting on the right time to bring a lot of funnels at the same time so that we do not delay the mastery sessions anymore right so that will be all go ahead and share your views in the comment section which was the best takeaway for you and I'll be seeing you in the next one till then stay safe and keep creating for a change